Hello everyone, this is a uh, my anime art book stash inspired by Lee Sin Thomas. Uh, you should lo really look at his videos if you want to know what this is about. But uh, I'll just be going through my art books and showing you some pages and telling you how I like them and what I like about them. So here we go. This one is Secret of Rockman EXE. And uh, really, I like the concept designs already in this book. There are some posters right here and um, more posters. And hold on, here are some early concept designs for Mega Man himself. So this is really nice. Might want to draw these sometime. And model sheets right here. If you're a fan of those, there's a lot of it in here. Um, nearly every Mega Man character in the show is in here. Let's see, who am I looking for? Who am I looking for? Base, right here. One of my favorite characters and one of my favorite designs. Right here, see? Head sketches. There's not really that many sketches in here, mostly models. But when you want to draw a character, it's really good to look at all these models right here. There's Quick Man. And it has more than just a ro uh, robot master. See, look, there's. I forgot his name, maybe Shadow Man. It shows the humans, too, from the show. Let me skip. There's some concept designs. There's also the items and the battle chips. See, humans right here. More sketches. This is another one of my favorite character designs. It's just so wacky. It's like an eggplant girl. So I think that's what it's based on. Let me see. And uh, more sketches. Let me see here. Let me just skip over to the battle chips. Oopsie, more sketches. There's more sketches than I thought there would be. I mean, I've read this book before, but I haven't read it all the way, like every single page. And see, here are some items, or little enemies, just basic enemies. Swords, weapons, headshots, environments. And I don't know what these are, posters. And when you reach the end of, these are all the robot masters, all the people that are in the book. Sketches. And here are all the battle chips, every last one of them. Okay. So, yeah. Next one is by one of my favorite artists, Mine Yoshizaki. And, you know, he's the creator of Kero, Kero Ro Gunso, I think. Sergeant Frog to those. You only seen the Okay, okay. <laughs> seen the English name. Here's some Gundam right here. Gundam. More Gundam. Some of his original characters. I, no, I don't I'm not sure if these are his original characters. Zebra Man. Gets me every time. Waitress. Angel nurse thing. Okay, I don't know. I forgot where she's from. Time gal. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. See, as you can see here. Sketches are at the end of the book. That's the thing I love the most about these books is the concept sketches. More Street Fighter.
And this is his own series. Never published it or anything. Just kept it to himself. Command Master. Let's see. It's I can't keep this book up. Okay, let me show you character designs, more character designs. And this is what I really like. The characters I really like are, are the characters based on video game consoles. See, there's Dreamcast and Sega Saturn right there. Yeah. See, there's, I forgot what that is. I think it's the 64 DD, PlayStation, Famicom, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, I think. Super Nintendo, don't know what that is, don't know who that is, but look, PS2, and here's the GameCube and Game Boy Advance, see, GameCube, Game Boy, and um, let me just skip to the sketches, and there's Vegeta, <laughs> so yeah, this book is a really good book to me. Especially at the end with all the sketches. See? He even made his own map for his own game. Look at that. Sketches. Again. Alright. This is issue 9 of the Mind books. His art books. Mina Yoshisaki's art books. That's number 9. Comicers art. I'm not sure if this is really an art book because it has more tutorials. I mean, it has tutorials. That's what it's really about. Let's see, comic markers. Yoruki Mafuyu. Um. Yeah. Okay. See, watercolor. Watercolor tutorial. See. So if you want. Some good tutorials and learn some good techniques. I recommend this book right here. Comicers Art. And Mega Man Zero. Funny story, I got the Mega Man Zero collection the same day I got this book. It was a birthday present. From friends and family members, of course. I really love the art in this book. Most. It shows the endings, character sketches, see weapons, it shows the robot masters, all the NPCs. Let's see, let me get to some, see, more sketches. Crazy about the sketches. Robot masters, bosses, I mean. Weaker enemies, basic enemies. Cyber Elves from the game, if you know about the game. Little Helpers. And sketches, concept sketches for the title of each and every game. He has a rough style when he's thumbnailing I like that um, or her from to Toru Nakayama Toru Naka <laughs> I'm sorry I can't say it. I'm learning Japanese but I'm s I'm still a beginner so and uh, sketches for zero and CL you know, concept sketches, boss sketches, gameplay sketches. Okay, yeah, and we're good. Uh -huh. So, Mega Man Zero, com official complete works. Really good. And this is my most recent art book, One Piece Color Walk 2.
I'm a big fan of One Piece. It's like my favorite manga and anime. So, learn something more about me each and every day, huh? This is mostly filled with colored artwork. No sketches. Well, I mean, there's some, but there's only like two pages of it. Two pages of sketches and thumbnails. Let's see, it even has the date of when he drew these. 1999. See? This is one of my favorite pictures. Carlong Park. I'm a big fan of Oda's style. Very creative. Very creative. Okay. Let's see, and uh, there's even an interview at the back from Oda and another artist. Let me see if I can find his name here. Oda and Fujuko. Fujuko. Fujio. If you know about him. And look, there's even a little poster. Or postcard at the end of the book. And some of Oda's writing right here. See, lots of art in this book. Lots of colored art. Okay. And this is the second most recent, recent book I've gotten. Naruto. See, the art of Naruto. Masashi Kishimoto. See. I'm a big fan of Naruto, not as much as One Piece, but I'm still a big fan. And I'm really a fan of Kishimoto's art. This is one of my favorite pictures as well, just because of the smoke. Or the clouds, the cloud, the cloud smoke, really like that. And what amazes me with his art style is his detail. Let me go to one of his detailed pictures. This is detail. See? He packs a lot of detail into his art. Some manga pages. See, different arts. Trying out new things. Different coloring scheme. See, this is really detailed right here. Look at all the panels. really good right here and there's even you know if you've seen the cover of this book then there's a how to on how he did it at the end of this book let me jump to it let me see if I can find it you know it's here somewhere Let's see here, it is right here. He uses Copic markers for the coloring. See concept and rough draft. This is Kishimoto, his process. There's the rough draft, draft two. Shading, see what pencils he uses. Kent paper. Maru pen, eraser. See, copic markers and correction fluid for the coloring right here. See, all right. And time for the final book of the day ER of Neon Genesis. All right, and the artist is Yosh Yoshizuki, no, Yoshi Yuki Sadamoto. I really like his artwork in this. I can't even pronounce his name, but whatever. See? Neon Genesis. 
I haven't even gotten through the anime yet. I'm like on episode 12. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me is is it good or not. Well, I mean, I think it's pretty good. See, lots of watercolor right here. This is watercolor. Lots of ray. And it's not just Neon Genesis, there's more. And colored manga pages. There's more of his artwork here, like... Let me go do it. Oh, here are some sketches. Watercolor sketches. Misato. See, he has the King of Fighters in here. And... Probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I forgot what anime she's from. I know it starts with an N, but just can't remember the name right now. But yeah, let me see. See, more of his art right here, of course. I like his artwork, it's very good. This is one of my favorite art books. Yeah, I think this was actually my first art book. Yeah, this is this was my first art book, I think. Besides the Mega Man EXE. This was my first art book. Got it at Barnes and Noble. Got some of the other ones, PlayAsia and Barnes and Noble. And eBay, of course. This one has a lot of detail to it. See, look at the motorcycles. Or cars. Lots of detail. And these are all the pictures in the nutshell. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little look at these art books hope you had a good time and I hope some of you get into art books because they're really fun really good if you just want to draw something if you have art block this is a you could just draw whatever you see in these books that might help get rid of your art block if you have some if you're an artist so yeah I love all these books and I hope to get more in the future good day goodbye